Five Nine Gaming. A lot of you might remember it. It was pretty popular back when it first came out. A lot of creators were collaborating and pushing it hard, and I honestly thought it was an amazing idea. So why is Five Nine Gaming relevant now? Well, some people might remember a creator called Nas. Currently, as things are, Nas and Ignit are having a little feud on Twitter, and it stems from another creator in the space, the Truthy T. This man is always in the middle of controversy somehow. So today, I'm going to take you guys through it. I just want to talk about it. I think it's personally hilarious. Um, so yeah. Hey, Future Oni speaking. Just to let you guys know, this is for documentation purposes only, so don't go attacking anybody in this video. Yep, guess I'm ugly goo. <laughs> So, Emerjack, if you guys don't know, has a podcast, Big Bad Bosses Podcast. Go check it out. With that said, though, Emerjack makes a tier list, all right? Pretty simple. Very plain. There's there's nothing more to it than that. What goes wrong here? Well, the truth DT gets himself involved. He says wrong. And Emerjack says, don't you got to go debate with Nas about climate change or something? And yes, this is an actual thing that happened. I just want to say, I think Nas is a lunatic. The truth DT replies, thoughts on this tweet if you're gonna take a picture of your shoes don't do it crisscross applesauce so what does nas have to say about this well he says is this an attempt at poor shaming or what i don't understand the joke here it's very clear that the joke is the way you took the picture any normal rational human being would just take the shoes out the box put them on a table and take a picture of the shoes it's just the way you took the picture man it, it, it's nothing more than that why are ignit and nas fighting well ignit goes ahead and says yeah Yes, broke bitch, it's poor shaming you. Nas replies, you are bad people, but that's why so many miserable things happen to you. Ignit says, this world is drip or drown, Nas. Unfortunately, you're not dripping. And then Nas says, worry about your own shitty life before coming at mine. So one person in this conversation is taking it way more seriously than the other. I think that's blatantly obvious. Ignit is just throwing some shade, having some fun. Yeah, the picture was not very flattering. I think it's pretty agreed upon that that's just a weird way to take a picture of a shoe. The Truth DT says, I am laughing at how ridiculous the picture is. Anyone who would buy a new pair of shoes and post a pic would just show the shoes. You wearing them and posting them in the way you did just looks silly. Truly a Nas moment. Which, I mean, yeah. I mean, fair enough. It's a goofy picture. Just embrace the goofiness. I feel like all of this could have been avoided had he just embraced how goofy the picture was. So anyway, in response to an actual joke that you yourself posted, this is a public tweet that you made. You can't make a public tweet and expect people not to, especially one where it's goofy and silly. People are going to joke around about that. I feel like instead of overreacting like this, embrace it. Joke around with them. Nas says, by the way, did Truth DT voted against me to have me kicked out of 5 9 games? Gaming. And I stayed his friend and nice to him all the time, offering to help him with content, not in an attempt to make money, but just to have fun with the friend I made. Ignit is the one who started the mutiny because his ass was mad jealous when he went and got the whole company canceled by making fun of that financially challenged streamer girl while live. Remember that when you see them clowning me, the truth is they were the ones who ruined everything. Only Goresh and Brad had my back. By the way, Truth and Ignit are making fun of my shoes now. Maybe I could afford better ones if you didn't tank our company into the ground. Can't stop the poor shaming when your own life sucks i guess they said nothing about your financials man it is literally how did you even get that out of the tweet it is literally just a goofy picture of you sitting crisscross applesauce he's even talking about not nah, just making personal attacks instead of keeping the clownery fun and lighthearted. i don't really carry beef myself been willing to make vids and be friends the whole time nas maybe the reason people don't do vids with you is because you literally have no filter man for example a couple of days ago the truthy t did the stream playing Sekiro he had a bunch of people like Goresh Geek you know Iron Kane and even Nas himself in the stream just playing the game having fun and there were a lot of funny moments inside of it I'm happy to see Truth enjoying Sekiro but Nas says this out of nowhere Truth I'll have you know too just so you know I'll give you a little update that I stopped messing with that girl that was dating dude oh, and she's, 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 she's locked on and uh he ended up punching her in the face and like breaking her orbital bone and then kicking her out and she was homeless 
Ignit says, bro is mad over a joke. Jealous of who? I was actually making money in 5'9 and you weren't. What would I be jealous about? We're making fun of the goofy pose you took in the picture of your new shoes, like some seven year old who got new Skechers. If you want to talk about jealousy, we can bring up the screenshots of you mad at me making 2K a month there because I was doing so much shit all over the place and putting in the work while you sat on your boring ass in silence playing fight simulator doing practically nothing. Nas then says, you single-handedly tanked the entire company i hope you feel bad about it for the rest of your life and then ignit goes ahead and drops an entire document of everything nas has done wrong in 5.9 gaming so we're gonna go over that today it's literally insane how much stuff came out today because of a simple joke Okay, so here we are on the document. The title of it is Examples of Nas's Egregious Behavior. So one is lack of communication, refuses to see Supercore slash any pings. Instead of adapting our way of communication, he forced everyone to DM him anything. Won't engage in all departments of 5.9 because it's not his responsibility. Difficult to make him do back end work. Complained it was not what I do best. For example, Twitch streamer payouts. Another example was very lazy on completing the Twitch streamer's calendar. Being late to podcasts, did not want to put in the work to make the podcast look congruent. Denying stream requests. What does that even have? What does that even have to offer? So social fire was denied request to stream because Mario Party was Goresh, Nas, Truth, and Toons game. Ryudin wanted to stream on 5.9. Nas denied it. Diddy was supposed to host the Dokkan Worldwide Celebration stream but Nas hijacked it and refused to give it up to Diddy. Went live before the stream was supposed to happen and said, I'm already live, I don't want to lose viewers. Fell asleep on stream and didn't want other streamers to go on Blamed it on being in the bathroom. Nas did not show up to stream Nintendo Direct in time. Gail Riot hosted stream instead. Nas forced Gail to stop hosting so he could host the rest of the event. Hypocrisy because he denies ending streams himself because he wants to keep the viewership. Tweets. When confronted about several questionable topics, he adamantly explains that topics like guns are not controversial and he will not be silenced. He said he understood the risk, but ignored the core and the core members' concerns and validates his behavior by stating several companies slash brands are successful despite having controversial behavior behind social media presences. We believe at 5.9 we should be neutral and not engage in these types of controversial topics. He says it's not a problem now so it shouldn't be an issue. He does not have the foresight to understand that when it becomes a problem, it will be too late to fix it. Posted a selfie of him holding a fake gun to his temple, implying suicide. Said he engages in dark humor, something we should not be joking about publicly at all. Unwilling to separate personal accounts from business accounts. Unprofessional behavior on stream. Does not follow or read instructions. Refusing to put the company ahead of his own personal gains. And the list goes on and on. So during the making of this video, Nas and Ignit actually made up. They deleted some of the tweets, or well, most of the tweets actually. And it seemed like things almost instantly cleared up from there. But I had a few more questions. So I got the Truthy T and Minato on stream with me to talk about it. And to give a little bit more context to Nas and who he is as a member to the community. Because I was unaware. So anyway, here are the clips. All right, let's get back to some drama, Oni. Huh? Yeah, that's what I, I mean. Dude, this guy, <laughs> Alan, man, he always steers the conversation yeah, to Dokkan somehow. Alan came in and talked about the booze. What's I always <laughs> My bad. What's, my what's bad. the next drama segment, man? Well, I want to talk about the Nas support. stuff, okay? Well, your your guys' <laughs> opinion on Nas, okay? okay? I hear you guys. The stuff I see about Nas, he's in he's in a bunch of the servers that you guys are in, and then yep. like just a couple days ago, Nas. Yeah, never his never a frozen Nas out or anything like that. Obviously, uh, <laughs> the stupid dumbass. <laughs> like the dumb kid implied that, like the dumb. I got, let's start with the Sekiro stream, okay? What happened there? What? Where did that conversation even come up? <laughs> How did Bro, it come up? He just, you don't understand Nas. He the just stream says, is up. Like, he just started talking, man. Like, that's it. Like, he just, Nas, okay. look, to understand Nas, he just says things and it happens. That's Bro, it. so often people are saying like, oh, I, I felt like Truth was bullying him or was just mean to him, <laughs> but now I get it. Like, I see that all the time when he starts opening his mouth. Man. So what is the history behind Nas? Like, who... Uh, forgive me for not knowing, but like, what? Who is he? Uh, so the first time I remember him is because he was a Legends YouTuber, okay. um, and they had him on the podcast. I think uh, who started it? It was Speedy, Nolar, Goresh, Minato. Do you remember? It was something like that, right? Like, and yeah. Talon. Yeah. I, I, I think was the 
damn what was it called i i also for, I, I could look it up I, i'll look it up but yeah so that, that they started that podcast and they eventually brought nas in i remember i i tried to come in a couple of times because i at this time like i was like way like bigger than gresh and stuff like that so like to help draw attention to it right mm -hmm. like now gresh and me are like the same size right but back then it was like i was helping to draw like views to, to their streams and shit the podcast right the ultimate, ultimate space dokkan time? and legends Wait. tag team podcast oh so, that's yeah. what it was called okay i remember watching those oh, <laughs> yep. so i mean was it was he like that even back then i know he had some controversy yeah. in five nine about guns so i know the gun stuff was a lot oh was a my god dude oh, uh, god. there's a lot this... Yeah, Go ahead, we, just, I remember. Yeah, I remember. I, we did demand that this was a demand. I think I was the one who said this. I said I need it in writing that Nas is not allowed to reply to Keemstar anymore <laughs> because <laughs> Nas would reply to Keemstar and get into wild shit, man. Oh He'd God. be saying insane shit under Keemstar tweets, and I was like, well, "Dude, we can't have that, man. Like, stop it." It seems so. Uh, I like when it comes to Five Nine Gaming. Who do you think the most like productive members of that? Not to com not for comparison. Like, uh, this is I mean, I don't really. I, hear, I, I, mean, I, know, I know that Nas, Nas was... did say some shit today. But the one thing I want to reveal is what this bastard just replied to me in a little bit. I do kind of want to drop. Okay, that. yeah, go ahead, man. I, I think talking about just the whole situation, like all of the history of Nas, is really important for context here for people who don't know. Oh I'm well, I, I mean, I mean, never, like I don't dislike Nas actually. Like it's like. I do think that he's actually just like the biggest idiot in the world, but mm -hmm. I do think like beneath that he's a nice guy. Like he's actually just really stupid, <laughs> but he is a nice guy. But okay. he's just again, he's just really freaking stupid. Yeah, like, I, I'm. I I feel like even me saying that, I'm not disrespecting him. I'm literally just like stating a fa like the sky is blue. I will show this only to you, Oni. Just just to give you a kind like look look. Look at how like, like I, I like un unintentionally fake he is sometimes. I don't know. Look, no, dude, I get look it, at this. Dude. Look at the second paragraph. Just read. Just well, I don't. Maybe well, I mean, you can read the first line if you want to. What? Yeah, go ahead and read that first. Okay. Go ahead and read would, that first line. It would be helpful if you help me gain some followers instead of losing them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So this guy, I mean, he's yeah. You know, again, he's something else, right? Like he's something. Like Jesus Christ. Well, I, I, I think it's personally, I mean, I, I, my mind was blown whenever I saw you post that picture and he was like, he instantly went to like the fine, like no, finances were not a thing ever brought up in that discussion, ever, in that picture yeah, ever, bro, in that tweet. Dude, the way he was, but I, I'm sorry, that picture is so goddamn goofy. Man. Dude, I, that's my <laughs> point. That's like the context behind the photo. Like you got a new pair of shoes. You took the shoes out of the box. Instead of just taking a picture of the shoes out of the box, you put right, them on. Like people would take a picture of like the shoes in yeah. the box or like displayed next to the box or something yeah. like that. Uh, yes, dude. Uh, everyone, anyone would find that goofy. And the fact that he leaned towards the finances part is like the, funniest thing in the world i mean that's a that's a he would oh like we would be streaming on five nine he would always be talking about how broke he was that was like such a yeah. but he, he has a Common youtube thing. channel right like he has a youtube channel and from what i saw yeah, yes I he, but he's uh, he's the laziest fucker in existence too oh <laughs> the other God. thing he's i just so remember the psn codes thing uh-oh Go ahead. What, what, what was that? Do you remember that the the PSN codes thing? Bro, we, we were uh, like, I, I only glanced at the Google Doc earlier. I can't believe I still have that in my bookmarks. <laughs> Did you um, see it? Did you see? It? I linked it. I, mean, I saw it a while ago. <laughs> oh, were you? Were you? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, keep going. What? No, no. I'm saying. Well, I, what do you mean? <laughs> so, um, I'm just saying. I remember, like, cause it was early in the morning, and then he flashed like the codes on stream by accident because he doesn't. Oh my code. god! Yeah, he. Remember? Yeah, yeah. It, a giveaway. It was like giveaway. Yeah, and he lost. Giveaway. He lost the PSN codes. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> and I was up there for like a minute or two, and then he was like, "Oops." Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I was about to say I, he uploads pretty regularly, but no, like. He took like a year break and then just recently started. The last video was a month ago. Okay. Um. Oh, what did he upload? What was it? It was a. I think it was. It's a testing every new Quasar Cannon versus everything. I don't even know what Destiny. No, it's a Hell Divers. Hell Divers. Um. 
Oh, this kid dropped a hell divers video. Let me he has like five hell divers videos. Five hell divers. After a year of not uploading, like two months ago, he dropped a hell divers video, and it did pretty well. 160k views. That's a pretty decent check. And then the other one is 115k. 160k. Yeah, that's a decent. That's a decent check right there from uh from that video. Oh wow. Um, yeah, he has 200k videos. What yeah. Okay. So I, I don't know. 200k views in that month alone, uh, on top of like the 18k. Like I, I don't know. That's a pretty I mean, decent that's check. Literally his know. most viewed video. <laughs> He yeah, just came yeah. in and dropped a banger. And then this lazy shithead doesn't, like, capitalize. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I just took a glance at his channel earlier. I saw those two videos. I was like, oh, that's pretty... I mean, it looks like he's doing pretty good. I don't understand how he's broke, but... Yeah, never mind. It's, it was like a month ago. Since uh, he's not there. exactly the smartest for spending money. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, either way, I think the entire situation... How do you guys think Ignan's reaction to it was? Because me, personally, how I saw it is Truth made the tweet, Nas responded to it like pretty damn negatively. In fact, I would say Nas is the one who started like pushing the nuke, nuclear, it went to the nuclear option of like throwing Truth and Ignit under the bus. Ignit makes a tweet, you know, probably shitting on him fairly enough, but he also clarifies, clarifies everything with the doc. And then, you know, he has Ignit apologize to him and then delete all of his tweets and all of his tweets are still up. So how do you think, how do you feel about that situation? Nah, he, he deleted a bunch of the tweets. No, oh, did he? I okay. Checked. I just checked. Um, I mean, again, I, I, like, I, I do feel like I know Nas pretty well. Like, Nas is not... Uh, Oni, use those boosts. You're wasting your time, bro, by the way. Come on. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry. Bro, you're not even fucking ranked 999. Like, come on, get to uh, it. Tap, tap. What's your power level? Show me. It's world no, 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 no. Bro. You can't see that. You can't see that. Can't <laughs> no, see show that. it to me. That's crazy, bro. You can't see that, man. scared. How do you guys think the situation was handled on his part? Because I, I think it was, I think the response. Oh, dude, no, 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 he, he's, he's, he's an idiot. Like he's a moron, but like, this is how Nas is like Nas. Uh, Nas is not doing stuff with the intention of truly being like, 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 like a, 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 an asshole or something like that. Like I know him, he's just the biggest idiot in the world. Like, and again, I say that and I'm truly not trying to be rude. It's just literally a fact. That's it. Like it's like, so like, do I hate Nas? No. Like, I don't even really care. Like, it's just, it's just how he is. Okay. Okay. Like, like if he wants to jump into a, like the next stream I do, like, I do not care. Yeah. Like, again, he's, he's a dumb. I, I did go a little hard on, <laughs> I did go a little hard on Nas in this one video. I was, uh, in the video I was making about it. I think I might, <laughs> I think I might scrap it. I don't know. The whole situation to me just seemed like crazy. And I thought it was really upsetting that Ignant was the one to have to apologize for something that he straight up just like initiated from a, a complete misunderstanding on his part. Like it wasn't even you or him. It was it was literally just Nas. I think it, uh, what personally upset me more was the fact that he was coming in and it was the talking about like his disabilities in his left leg and he's like, oh, actually oh, it's not that yeah. serious. And then he was like, actually it's a physical deformity. It's like, what? which one is it? Is it not serious? You're not disabled or I can't go into the military because I'm super disabled. Like, yeah. come on, man. Yeah, I also find that to be a little irking too. It's like, why even just like you use it as ammo against truth and uh, truth for that picture, man? It's just like why? He's crayons. He would fit straight up with the military. It's it's fine. Yeah, he backtracked w so much off of that statement too. Like it's to, that's just like BS to me. That's so BS. I don't know. Does one of you want to give uh, Toonrami the link to the Discord, by the way? How are you doing, Toonrami? How do you feel about the drama happening in the Dokkan community recently? I'm not gonna lie, man. I, well, I'm gonna confess something first. Minato knows about this. I live, I exist in my own little corner and I have no idea what's going on. So I literally will ask Minato every time something <laughs> explodes on Twitter. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So then Minato will give me the down low on what's going on. Okay. And now I'm like craving more drama news. <laughs> and so I've been like, I actually saw your like recent, well, I saw the one where it shows Minato's canceled on this, like on your thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> so like since that, I've just been so curious. I had no idea that all of this stuff just keeps happening. In that's like so the sick. Dokkan, the Dokkan is... space. So now there's apparently new drama going on. Yeah. So do you yep. know Nas? Wait, hold on. Are you gonna make a video? Because I'll just watch the video. Um, I, I mean, I make. I'll probably make a video about this. It depends. It depends. I, like I said, the Truth DT and uh, Minato and and Ignit, they don't think it's that big a deal. So I mean, if it's something that I shouldn't address, you know. Well, if it's then... not a big deal. Are you talking about, you talking about Nas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? What happened? Yeah, yeah, when... yeah. Because yeah, I mean, because Tune, you you've been around forever. You know, Nas. I don't think is a bad guy. He's just actually an idiot. Like Nas is not like some, you know, twirling his mustache. I'm getting back at people or I'm doing this to people. He's just 
a dumbass. That's I it. feel like I feel like if a dumbass does bad things, though, I mean, I, I, repeatedly and like actually just blame. I, I mean, sure, like advice. he does do bad shit. Yeah, like again, like the the talking to a girl who has a man and stuff like that, and I tell him, uh, stupid, f no, don't do that. So yeah, there's there's something going on with Nas. I don't know if you've seen the picture, Toon Rama. Can someone post that in the chat so Toon can see it? It's like the I'm funniest completely picture. Completely out of the loop. It's in the VC chat. I put it in the VC chat. Um, it's literally just a picture of him leaning over, like getting this overhead photo of his <laughs> shoes with his with, uh, i don't even know man it's so hard to describe it's just a, a picture a of his shoes on his picture. feet yeah he has he's like spread movie. eagle taking a picture of his shoes on the floor it's like really weird i don't know man oh i thought those were his hands <laughs> <laughs> wait what i didn't think he took the photo I don't no. know. That looks like, it's I don't know why, it looks like his hands. This is even, okay. this is even worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is his hands. Oh my God. Wait, okay, wait. So there's drama from shoes? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So let me explain shoes, to you the situation, yeah. Tune. The Truth cool. DT is arguing. He's, he's just like talking. He comments underneath um, Emerjack. I don't know how to pronounce it. Emerjack. That's his name. He made a tier list. Energetic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he made it to your list, and Truth was like wrong, and then like he just posts like, "How do you feel about this tweet?" And it's just this photo, right? Nas posted this himself, and Nas sees this. He quote retweets, and he's like, "I can't believe I am being poor shamed right now." So he quote retweets that, and then Ignit is like, he comments underneath, and he's like, "Dude, yeah, you're super poor, we know," or uh, just, just you know, vaguely. That's what he says. And then Nas quote retweets that and says. By the way, um, the Truth DT and Ignit are the reason I'm kicked out of. Oh, I was kicked out of Five Nine. These guys are like assholes or whatever. I see where this is going. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. And so Ignit drops an entire document after after shitting on Nas the through through the day or the morning, clarifying all the heinous stuff or the you know the things that he did to like literally just help ruin Five Nine or whatever the hell happened. And uh, that's basically the entire situation. All that stemmed from Truth replying to somebody with a with this picture. It's just insane. It's insane.